Hey everyone, Donnie here, and thanks for joining me today on this edition of Big Drone Flyer 77. Hey, today I have the Master Air Screw V1s. Uh, this is a stealth props for the DJI Spark. So uh, this is pretty cool, you guys. I'm gonna go and uh, do a review outside with this. Um, I'm doing the, the first part of the review inside because it is in the hundreds outside here in California, USA. So uh, we're having a major heat wave. So the, the flight review is going to be very short, but to the point. So that way you guys can hear hopefully the difference from my camera uh, between the stock propellers and, and the ones that uh, Master Airscrew made. So um, it does come uh, with five different colors to choose from. You have red, you also have black, you have yellow, green, and of course you got the sky blue, or I would say like a baby blue. Uh, all these propellers, they come in the box. Uh, if you guys have a, any propellers from them, they usually do this for everyone, but they come in a little pouch here. Then for this one, for the Spark, um, I know uh, for the Mavic Air, they had to update it and give you uh, different settings to use. But anyways, you get your Master Air Shoes stickers. Um, then you get your little instruction manual here for safety. But it, you don't have to change any of the settings, you guys. So uh, you don't have to go in there and change any of your gain settings um, or anything. They don't give you any instructions to have to do that. So... Uh, we'll find out when we're out on the field, but uh, anyways, they come in a neat little pack like this, little cloth pack, and and then there's your propellers right inside. So, so you got a lot of colors to choose from, you guys, and uh, I like every single one of them. I went ahead and went with the red uh, since a friend of mine uh, gave me this last year, Kelly from Ready Set Drone, so I still keep a sticker on it. I haven't taken it off since I've gotten it, and I like red anyways. Red and white is just looks really neat to me, so... But all the other colors are great. You know, I like all the other colors. The, the green is really neat. It's a neat fluorescent green. And then you got that yellow. Gives it a really nice look. Especially if you have the yellow uh, spark. That would go good with it. Maybe like the yellow and black. You know, maybe mix up the propellers, you know. So, but anyways, um, I just wanted to show you the comparison on the on the props. Since, uh, since Master Airscrew went solid with these propellers, they, they went ahead and um, didn't make them foldable, which is fine, because I always fold these out a lot of times before I start up the, the spark. Sometimes I forget, but a lot of times I'll unfold them uh, just so there's less stress on the motor on fire up. But anyways, uh, as you can see, they're definitely a lot bigger than the stock propellers. So you can see that they're definitely, you know, a little bit bigger, uh, longer and wider. So... Um, they went with that on there. Maybe it gives it a little more thrust. I'm sure it probably uh, that's what's keeping it uh, from being so noisy. So um, I wanted to show you also the size of the Mavic Air compared to the, the Spark. Definitely a major difference. So don't go trying to put these on, you guys. I know a lot of people try to, you know, try out different uh, propellers. You could probably put the Spark ones on the Mavic Air. I'm sure it'll probably lift up just fine. I've seen people do it with the stock ones, but I wouldn't do it, you guys. Just stick with the, the prop set or that are supposed to go to the right drone. So, but anyways, all right, I'm gonna go and put this on. It's pretty hot today, so I'm gonna go out there and do a really short flight, and we'll see what the noise difference is on these, and then I'll give you guys my conclusion on them. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, see, I'm out here with the Spark and I have the stock uh, propellers on it and then uh, I'm gonna see how that does um, with the sound wise and then I'll go and put the Master Airscrew version 1 of their uh, their stealth ones so we'll see how that does as well so let me get this spark fired up it's been a few months so see if we can get this thing up in the air alright here we go These are just the stock props. All 
All right, let me get the meter out and see what it says. I still haven't got a meter yet, so I'm gonna use the one from uh, my phone. So far, 54. Average is 56. Fifty five point six is the average right now. All right, let me do a quick takeoff here. So that's pretty loud. <laughs> so let's try that again one more time. These are just the stock props. I went all the way up to about 60, 60 dBs, from 55 to 60 dBs on takeoff. So let me go ahead and land this and put the master air screw props on real quick. All right, I'll be right back, you guys. All right, so we have the master air screw, the V1s, I'll call them. Uh, first version of their stealth props. So as you can see these ones are actually uh, they're solid so they don't uh, fold up like the stock ones do so all right let's fire this up and see how it does. Wow major difference already. Let's take a walk around. Major difference already, you guys. I can already tell. Way quieter. Let me go ahead and get my meter out. All right, let me reset this meter. Get about where I was standing here. Fifty-one point four. About fifty-one point five. 51.5, let's see the takeoff. Let me reset this. So far it looks about 54.5 on the DBs. Let's try it again here on takeoff. Let me reset again. definitely a lot quieter still got the little bit of the bee angry bee sound but it's not it's not as loud so definitely dropped it down let's try one more takeoff let me be quiet for a minute reset it Yeah, about 51.5 so so it goes up it goes up just uh goes up just a little bit there Let's see what the max is all right let's do it one more time I just want to get it as accurate as I can let me be quiet real quick
Yeah, so it only goes up a couple decimals. is isn't too bad. It actually is doing really well. Yeah, it's not too bad, you guys. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the screen recorder real quick. I'll be right back. Let me land this. And I'll be right back, you guys. I just want to see if there's going to be any errors. All right. Okay, we got screen recorder going. Let's go ahead and take off. I got three quarters of a battery, and I'm going to go ahead and just stay in just regular mode here. non-sport mode I have mine turned down a little bit for filming so you can see it's not very fast but I'm gonna drop it here in sport mode in just a second let me bring it back over here for a minute got tons of dragonflies so all right let's go in sport mode and see what happens okay we're in sport mode I had to press OK. I forgot. This one's always got all kinds of warnings. Yeah, gimbal motors overload. Yeah, it's because I'm going pretty good. So the gimbal motors, getting that gimbal motor error. So okay, but so far nothing with the motors. It's just because it's putting so much of a pitch. Looks like you're getting quite a bit of a pitch more than the stock ones were. Yeah, it looks like it scoots a little bit faster. Okay, let me go full speed right here and see what happens. Yeah, it's still about the average speed. Just putting a strain on that gimbal because the gimbal's only two axes, so. But I don't see any errors, you guys. Other than the gimbal thing, I've had that happen with the stock props, so. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I don't see anything. That's awesome. All right, they're not too bad. Oh, just cut that butterfly in half. Poor thing. Alright. Dang, I can't believe I just got that guy. Alright, hey, thanks guys for watching. I sure appreciate Master Air Screw for sending these props out. Guys, it does bring down the sound quite a bit, so they do work. Um, you know, it's not a big major difference, but it is a noticeable difference. And, uh, you know, if you want a little more quieter props, then go get the Master Air Screw. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you still like to just run the stock props uh, for insurance-wise and, and warranty. That's fine. Um, that's up to you. I'm not uh, saying to go out there and get these and change them right away. But uh, you do have an, a choice now to have quieter props, you guys. So, all right, guys. Like always, God bless. Cheers. And happy flying.